By now, you know that I declared 2024 my launch year. And if you don't know, then you need to go back on and catch up on the series. It's a pretty good series. Very inspiring, if you Part of the me. reason why I declare this my launch year is because it falls perfectly in line with my title. I am a multi-hyphenate creative. And if you don't know what that is, think of Issa Rae. She's my she Recently, Rae. my friend had to sit me down and let me know that I was doing too much. And the proof was in the pudding because I truly was doing absolutely too much. I was tired. I wore myself out within a matter of a week and a half, <laughs> um, just trying to execute multiple things. At Remember the same when I time. told you that Issa Rae was my shero? Well, she is one of the guiding forces, one of the brands and people that I decided to study as I embarked on this part of my entrepreneurial journey. But my crazy self skipped the part. Because I was just like, girl, I can do it. But I skipped the part where she gave advice saying that it's okay to be a multi-hyphenate creative. It's okay to do more than one thing. You just have to, as a creative, limit yourself to one thing at a time. Why did I decide that I could do it all? And so when I said launch year, I meant it. And I started the last week of December launching new products. <laughs> All the way until the second week, to the point where just a week ago, I found myself burnt out, literally to a crisp. My good, good friend sat me down and said, girl, you're doing too much. You need to go ahead and try to reel that back in. Let me lay the groundwork for you. Within the first week, from the last week of December to the first I week of January, I opened my books for my consulting services. I, la I, I launched or did a soft launch for... And the sexy human brand. And I also released a digital product called the Coloring Cocktail. And followed up and planned a live event for the Coloring Cocktails at that. I was doing too much. I really was. <laughs> and if I'm being honest, I'm still a little bit delusional thinking that I can probably take on more. Even though every time I sit down and do my schedule, it shows me that I really can't. Because y'all, at the same time, I'm a full-time mama. I have a five-month-old at this point. She just turned five months. Yay. And I have a seven-year-old. I'm also married with a husband. And I enjoy spending time with my family. So well, the question is, what do you do when you've started too much? Oftentimes, you feel like you can't just pull it all back off the market. But child, if I'm being completely transparent in this moment, that's exactly kind of what I did. This is how I remedy my issue of launching too much too soon and burning I'm out. still providing my consulting services. Hit me up if you need a creative consultant. I'm your girl, I promise. I decided to limit my sexy human brand to a soft launch and schedule its hard launch in June. And since my live event is in the first quarter and it falls on Valentine's Day, I decided to put all of my eggs in a basket and focus on the coloring cocktails, digital products, beta testing, alpha testing, and live events. Mind you, this is all amazing advice that I got from my friend. And if I can stress anything to any creative out there or entrepreneurs, make sure that you have a solid community. And if you don't trust my word, trust Issa Rae's because she said the same thing, girl. She said it, girl, and you got to believe it. Long story short, if you find yourself doing too much too soon, it's okay to just slow down, stop, recoup, and reorganize everything. There are no rules to this entrepreneurial game other than the legal ones, of course. Outside of legal stuff, go ahead. You make the rules. Now, y'all pray for me because I'm so sure I'm probably going to need a reminder again next quarter because I have even more stuff coming out. And I'm excited. That's where the burnout comes from. It's my excitement because I'm ready to do it all because I can see the end goal. And it is beautiful, amazing, rooted and built up, child. It's rooted and built up.